Okay, so I've got a parochial issue I want to take up with you real quick, and you don't have to handle it yourself, but it's why I asked if your leadership team was, all, was fully staffed, because you can pass this on. Uh, there's a dispute right now between health care given by Glacier County, uh, by the Blackfeet Reservation, and IHS. I'm not saying IHS is wrong, and I'm not saying Glacier County was wrong, but it would be great to uh, uh, put somebody on this to get this resolved, if you could. I would certainly appreciate this once you're once you're confirmed. I have a, a couple other questions, and it, and it kind of revolves around what's already said. And, and I really, really appreciate um, your answer to the to the to the ranking member on um, on being an advocate for funding. Um, uh, as I told you in my office, I've, I've been through three administrations now. Um, and we have had um, folks in front of this committee several times, and funding has always been a problem. And look, you're uniquely qualified to be in this position because you're Native American, you've used the services, you've been in the system as an employee and as a, as a utilizer. And I just think that if anybody knows the challenges out there from a money standpoint, it's you. And, um, and, and that's, it's important that you are a fierce advocate for funding. Um, have you had an opportunity when it comes to retrain, retaining people, and you're involved with the military, so you get this, to take a look at some of the tools that the VA, that Congress has given the VA, to be able to hire and retain employees? Um, and if you have... Um, Tell me if you'd like those authorities. And if you haven't, I would just encourage you to, to have somebody come over, go over and work with the VA to, to determine what they've got to see if, they can, if, you, if they'd work for you. Thank you, Senator Tester. And uh, I, thank you for bringing up the VA. I, I have actually looked quite in depth at the VA's authorities with Envy. Yes. Uh, Title 38 authorities enable the VA to compensate at uh, higher Correct. rates, their benefits packages are, are more, um, much much better than Title V and the hiring authority that we have within the IHS. So they can actually be competitive with the private sector that they're in competition with. They can get a lot closer than we can, yes, yeah. sir. And um, uh, across many different professions, we have actually um, used the VA's work to, to create our own pay scales. For Would you positions be, like podiatry. Got it. Would you be willing to work with uh, any of us on this committee, but I think it starts with the ranking member and the chairman, to try to get those authorities for, the, for IHS? Absolutely, sir. Okay. Would, would very much love to partner with you on that. Well, look, I think there's some opportunity for success here. I mean, I think you guys have, have a, a hard time. And look, it's for a number of reasons. Uh, part of it's compensation. Part of it's housing, which is more difficult than compensation from my perspective. But... Would, would love to work with you, and, and I know there's other folks on this committee that, that would love to work with you, and uh, since I'm ranking on the VA committee, um, we've been pretty much up to our waist in some of the stuff that they've done there. I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for being in my office. As probably the only folks that know this are the folks in your family that are in this room, but we had a dust-up a few years ago. And, and I just uh, I want to tell you that... Uh, we uh, evidently do know about that. Uh, <laughs> I want to tell you, when I went back to uh, Montana and I talked to the natives, um, a Native American population, they were happy about that. They liked it. They loved me. And not, not be, for any other reason, but the fact that, and I'll just say this quite frank, frankly, and this isn't on you, it's on the agency in general over decades and decades and decades they don't believe there's anybody in IHS that's fighting for them. And, and, and I would just tell you that if we leave here, I think you're going to get confirmed, and you should get confirmed. But if you leave here without anything, I would just ask you that be a fierce fighter for the Native Americans that you serve. And if you do, they'll build statues to you. Mm. Because cause they need somebody. Uh, IHS is, you know this, you're, you're, I don't need to preach to you. You've been there. You've done that. Um, but it really is oftentimes a life and limb situation. And if you're able to break through that, and you've got a lot of people on this committee that are on your side, on both sides of the aisle, that'll help you be successful. And I just say, be aggressive and, uh, and good luck. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Senator Tester.